hi what's up we're in the next part um please go check out the previous part to cage your bearings but i'm not gonna even recap on the previous part i was just lamenting about the the whatever of christian they're not christian okay just the mis a button just the disregard of my pain by the body of christ it's not the body of christ like i don't know what they are but they're not christians let's just move on we're in the great apostasy i'm singing all right i said in my first part that i was gonna sing only today to make myself feel better and I didn't sing in the first part, I just spoke, uh, so now I'm gonna sing. And I did say that I'm not gonna interpret my lyrics, I'm just gonna sing to make myself feel better. So this is just a singing part, and these songs are all to express the sentiment that I had in the first part. Yeah. The first song that I wanna sing, because it's expressing the sentiment of what was in the first part, uh, I, I rewrote, do you guys know that I rewrite secular music from secular to gospel so this here is unvokes i think lose control i think the name of the song is lose control what's it gonna be that one uh i'm not gonna explain it i will however sing it slowly so you can understand the lyrics it is a song about lukewarm christians lukewarm christians and how god feels about you okay let's get straight into it uh i think it's past midnight by now so i can't be loud god have mercy on my singing all right I'm gonna try and sing all this music. Zang, zang, zang. Ooh. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I really hope to be improved right now in my mood because I'm so sad. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Zoom, zoom, zoom. What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend. Don't you wanna be? I said I didn't wanna explain. It's about, it's basically Christ singing to. The lost church saying are you gonna be part of me or not uh, are you like what's like lukewarmness you know are you lost or are you found are you in or are you out right now you're laodicean you are lukewarm you are neither hot nor cold and because you're lukewarm god is gonna spit you out his mouth as far um oh, no sorry what i wanted to say was <clears throat> you know god just keeps like guys yeah, yeah we're going home yes yeah, all the doubt that is in my bones is why i am so scared and so sad but we are going like the vision that I had in one of my other videos that I shared with you guys where it is that not a vision was a dream where uh, Corre, uh, not Rima, but Grace Bible Church in Soweto after the rapture happened the lead pastor there Mosasono gathering a whole bunch of his church since most of them were left behind like a huge chunk to try and explain away the rapture I just had that vision again and it wasn't a vision it was a dream yeah okay this song is basically to try and get lukewarm Christians to just stop being so lukewarm. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend. Uh, don't you wanna be my dear friend? Hold me tight and don't let go. Don't let go. Die to self, give me control, sold and bold. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Daily I knock because I know that we are not real friends. I know you think that you have plenty time before it all ends. You live in misery even when I'm around. And you won't be satisfied till to him you're not bound. Cause right now you're saint hating, heart breaking, soul sinking, and lost. Okay, I feel uncomfortable not explaining this. You won't be satisfied till to him you're not bound, him of which is Satan. Alright? So you won't be satisfied until you stop being bound to Satan. Um, because right now you're saint hating heart breaking soul sinking and lost sin praising stray leading soul cursing so that says cause right now you're saint hating heart breaking soul sinking so sinking people's souls and lost sin praising leading people astray so you're stray leading and soul cursing i keep lamenting about soul curses and then the chorus What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend. Don't you wanna be my dear friend? Hold me tight and don't let go. Don't let go. Die to self, give me control. Sold and bold. Mm. 
I'll send, send my angels up above down to watch you. They know my heart, it speaks to yours like only love can do. I came to a your sin, got condemned just like you, but rose for your soul. My works are soul, my works are earth shaking, heart cleansing, soul saving, love grace pouring, spirit filling, saint Aiden. Okay, so that says I often send my angels up above down to watch you. They know my heart like, they know my heart, it speaks to yours like only love can do. I came to wear your sin, got condemned just like you but rose for your soul. That speaks about the death of Christ. My works are earth shaking, heart cleansing, soul saving, love, grace pouring, spirit filling, saint aiding, saint aiding as in helping Christians along. What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend. Don't you wanna be? my dear friend hold me tight and don't let go don't let go that self give me control soul and bold mm. and then the next part running in and out my house bereaved you're so confused became a holy sacrifice with two masters you won't choose not to me you cannot lie and for the sake of your own soul better repent to testify mm. don't you wanna be you just can't keep running in and out of my house with all of your light mm. you just can't keep running in and out of my house with all of your vice believing the lies yeah no no repent you have no right to be justified if for Satan you continue to lose control, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, don't harden your heart, my blood is your grace. Okay, so the next part says running in and out of my house, like coming in and out of Christianity, essentially. Running in and out my house, bereaved, you're so confused, became a holy sacrifice. With two masters, you can't choose, you won't choose. Not to me, you cannot lie. And for the sake of all of your own soul, better repent and testify. And then you can't just keep running in and out of my house with all of your vice believing the lies. You can't, you can't just keep running in and out of my house with all of your vice believing the lies. Vice as in V-I-C-E, your vices. Believing the lies. No, no, no repent you have no right to be justified if for satan you persist to lose control you have no right to be justified if for satan you persist to lose control no yeah that's what that says and then don't harden your heart my blood is your grace don't harden your heart my blood is your grace that's what that says okay i briefly explained it i just want to sing it one last time without any pauses okay it's, um, it's, um, so it's basically a song where Christ is talking to the lukewarm conglomerates and how it is that they're just so lukewarm. Okay. What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend. Don't you wanna be my dear friend? Hold me tight and don't let go. Don't let go. That self give me control. Sold and bold. Daily I knock because I know that we are not real friends. I know you think that you have plenty time before it all ends. You live in misery even when I'm around. And you won't be satisfied till to him you're not bound. Cause right now your soul, cause right now you're saint hating, heart breaking, soul sinking and lost, sin praising, street leading, soul cursing. What you, what's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend. Uh, don't you wanna be my dear friend? Hold me tight and don't let go. Don't let go. 
I died of self, give me control. Sold and bold. Alf and send my angels up above down to watch you. They know my heart, it speaks to yours like only love can do. I came to wear your sin, got condemned just like you. Mm -mm. Alf and send my angels up above down to watch you. They know my heart, it speaks to yours like only love can do. I came to wear your sin, got condemned just like you, but rose for your soul. My works are earth shaking, heart cleansing, soul saving, love, grace pouring, spirit filling, Saint Aiden. What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend. Don't you wanna be my dear friend? Hold me tight and don't let go. Don't let go. Dad of self, give me control. Sold and bold. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Running in and out my house. Bereaved, you're so confused. Became a holy sacrifice. With two masters, you won't choose. Not to me, you cannot lie. And for the sake of your own soul, better repent and testify. Da, don't you wanna be? You just can't keep running in and out of my house with all of your vice, believing the lies. No. No, no, repent, etc. <clears throat> you have no right to be justified if for Satan you persist to lose control now. Don't harden your heart, my blood is your grace. Da, 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 da. Oh no, what's up? Don't you want to be my dear friend? Hold me tight and don't let go, don't let go. Die to self, give me control, sold and bold. Okay, and then it ends, okay? That's the one part. I'm still shaking, I can't believe it. Anyway, already, that was the one song. The next one is Hosea, Take Me to Church. I was lamenting about this in my previous part, and this one I'm not going to explain because I have already explained it very recently in music that I did. <clears throat> And I just don't want to explain, I just want to sing and get it out of the way. And I really hope to feel better by the end of this. Okay. Hosea, take me to church. Uh, go something. It's about the body of Christ and their abandonment of my person or those who claim to be Christians. I don't believe they were saved. Okay. One, two, three. We're at the last days. It's the great apostasy. This is what the church is looking like. That's what I'm getting at. All right. All right. My fervor's now futile, plant a giggle at my funeral, know everybody's disapproval, shouldn't have worshipped him brutal, claim that heaven never did speak, but I made myself a mouthpiece, the very heaven- no, sorry, let's start again, and let me try and sing it slowly so you can hear the lyrics. My fervor's now futile, a plan to giggle at my funeral. No, everybody's disapproval, shouldn't have worshipped him brutal. They claim that heaven never did speak, but I made myself a mouthpiece. Every Sunday's getting more bleak, a disciple missing each week. I was born sick, they heard me say it. My church offered me no protection, and now I worship in my bedroom. The very heaven we all go to, I'll get there all alone with truth. I was born again, how I love it, but my solitude tears. Where is my a amen with brethren for the amen? He took me to church and I worshipped through the fog, saw the lies in their eyes. I told them my struggles, then they sharpened their knives, offered me that stainless death. Good God, now I'll serve with my life. But they took me off church, and my worship is now hogged by the shrine of their lies. They've torn up my skin and will not hearken your strife. My strife offered me a death bit stealth. A good God, will you rescue my life? 
If I was pagan, I'd get good tides. My brothers would be sunlight. But not to God, I gave my life. Facing human sacrifice. Drained by the whole sea. No one will save me. I'm something meaty for the main course. Being chased, they say I'm on a high horse. What you got in that stable? This was stopped by all the faithful. As she looks hasty with looks of pity. Leave me hungry, mocked. He took me to church and I worshiped through the fog Saw the lies in their eyes I told them my struggles then they sharpened their knives Offered me that stainless death a good God Now I'll serve with my life But they took me off church and my worship is now hogged By the shrine of their lies They've torn up my skin and will not hearken my strife Offered me a death bit stealth a good God Will you rescue my life? Da da da, a fear no master, our king, when their ritual begins. There is no sweeter reticence than their hidden sin. In the madness and toil of broken saints, the earth saved. From afar they are human, from afar they are clean. Oh, where is my amen with brethren for the amen? He took me to church and I worshiped through the fog, saw the lies in their eyes. I told them my struggles and they sharpened their knives, offered me that stingless day of the good God. Now I'm served with my life. <clears throat> but they took me off church, but my worship was now hot. By the shrine of their lies, they've torn up my skin and will not hearken my strife. Offered me a death, bit stealth, a good God. Will you rescue my life? Da da da. That's Hosea's take me to church. It's about Christians abandoning the living daylights out of me. God, please help me. I am under so much attack. Yo, like I'm actually shaking. But anyway, whatever. The next song is Figures by Jesse Reyes. I've already also explained this song very re recently. So I'm not gonna... I'm not, I, I'm not explaining today, y'all. I just want to sing so that I can feel better, okay? Anyway, Figures by Jesse Reyes is basically a song where I'm complaining about South Africa. Yeah. And how it is that they've lost me. It's inevitable. Because of their hatred for, for God. They don't love God. They claim they love him. They don't. And so God took us away. The saints among them, they treated them like trash. Near Tagata, South Africa, you are witches. Is that basic? Okay, here's the song. God, please give me grace like proper. I am shaking. Let's get into the song. Figures. Start again. Figures. I gave you Christ, you died, turned fool, gave me flames, starved. Figures. I now am dying, cause you're on a stage, starved figures. I gave a psalm and you made me sit, starved figures. I fished out the cruel and evangelized kills. I tripped cause I cut you slack. A birth, home, you've been cruel, now you will not get me back. For the Lord has made you snooze from his message so special, message so real. Oh, countrymen, now you're stuck with your thieves. You wish you had loved me back. That's what you get for bruising the prophets sent to you. You. Who. Who. Yo, to you, you, who, who, yo, figures. I'm the sad gal now that can't even trust starved figures. You say sorry never, so I'll call your bluff. As saved by divine help, my pearls give a swine love that dies. Begging for me just to give sin a try. Figure who's was willing to stay cause you're sick and need his love. But you went and packed my bags. 
birth, home, you've been cruel, now you will not get me back. For the Lord has made you snooze from his message so special, message so real. Oh, countrymen, now it's clear you're deceived. You wish you had loved me back. That's what you get for bruising his servants. We're through, hoo, 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 through, hoo, 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 hoo. Yo, we're through, hoo, 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 hoo. Ooh. Yo, figures. Okay, and then the next one is Ed Sheeran's photograph. It's about the tribulation that's right at the door. It's impending, it's inevitable, and there's no running away from it. And a whole bunch of people will be left behind. But it's also about those who will get saved in it. Okay. And I've already recently explained it as well. Okay. Loving can hurt. Loving Christ hurts sometimes. But it's the only way that I know. When it gets hard, he warned it will get hard sometimes. Mm -mm. It is the narrow way that truly is life. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. On it we love even though it's rough. We walk past heresies, dad a self. For our eyes are never closing, though our hearts are ever broken. But sublime forever holds us still. The Lord will keep me inside the pocket again. The Lord will keep me inside his pocket. Show that I'm seen, holding me close till I'm from death freed. I won't ever be alone. Wait for the king, I'm going home. Mm, mm, mm. His love in me heals. Mm. Mm -mm. His love in me mends lost souls mm -mm. Showing the only way they should know No mm -mm. Mm -mm. But these days men get seedier Outnumbered they think they can bring peace in here mm -mm. And it's the very thing that'll make him love Antichrist Mm, 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 mm. But we still love even though it's rough Highlight these heresies all for help But their eyes are ever closing Their hearts are never open And time's no longer swollen It is spilled So Christ will reap his From inside the pocket of the heaven Lease How will enclose earth while our eyes See it while we're encircled around his throne And if they turn, see They're okay sadly though they will bleed Rock of all ages will come hold these Known he'll never let them go Welcoming them back home mm -mm. Gathering round his throne mm -mm. Waiting for all the stoned Mm -mm. Waiting till they come home Then there's the sixth seal Inside the reckless will fear rain while the moon bleeds Trembling heartbeats while their kings scream Hiding deep within the soil And if they turn, see They're okay sadly though they will Bleed. Rock of all ages will come hold these. Known they'll never, known he'll never let them go. When I'm away, only remember how you risked me under your lying boast thrown on the street, hearing you whisper through the phone. So he took me back home. Yeah, I think that's self-explanatory. And then the next one is Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. Okay, right. 
Oh, my Lord, my Savior, I've hungered for your touch. A long, lonely time And time goes by So slowly And in that time I've done so much But there is still black they don't want your love But I'm tired And I need your love So God speed your love To me Lonely tears just flow From the sea of humanity no one opens arms, hearts they freeze Lonely are their lies Come for me, come for me When will I come home? Come for me Oh, my Lord, my Savior I've hungered, hungered for your touch A long, lonely time And time goes by so slowly And in that time They've bruised so much Will you incline to my need for love? Oh God, how I've suffered and lost their love. So God, please rapture us and uproot their seed. Mm -hmm. The next one is Can't Help Falling In Love, Fools Rush In, Elvis Presley, my version of course. Wise men, sorry, wise men are slain, while livid fools crush kin. We don't get help. We're falling from love They're so cruel While I, I pray They increase their sin Satan they serve Fallen they starve Those with you Blood rivers just flow from humanity Darlings turn to foes All things not meant to be Take my, my hand Take my whole body with you for long we've burned Striving for heaven with you Barely river flows They ignore the seed Darting us with blows These things aren't meant to be it took for you a stand And for you our lives were bruised Thus, Lord, please help Catch us in clouds with you 
Dear Lord, you we serve, show them for us, come through. Okay, the next song is Adele's Daydreamer. It's about the naivety of the wickedness on this earth. And despite their naivety, they're very shocking in what they do. Their attempts to achieve strange feats against the body of Christ. It's basically a song lamenting about them and how it is that they're about to go to hell. Like, it's that basic. Let's just get into it. These day dreamers are sitting on the sea, are soaking up his sun. They are a real shocker and making up the past while filling up their pump like they've never felt conviction before. Sitting, 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 sitting. Their jaw all drop us look good while they stalk are the subjects of the darkness would be tired of being base but God do snatch and he confuse their world till their hands behind their backs oh sitting 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 zoom uh, so then we find them uh, sitting on our doorstep, uh, waiting for compromise. Uh, so they just feel like uh, since we're burning hours that we will tell the Lord to go losing life. Sitting, sitting, sitting. Ning sitting, 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 trum. And these day dreamers with eyes that soon will melt. They spend their gloat unsheltered, plus they fear mere fools while insincerely sending prayers all to tame God's real food, then feel not rude. Sitting, 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 um. Saying, there's no way I could descend. I'm what I'm saying is Christ, who I'm working for. Sitting, 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 uh, but they will find him uh, sitting high to condemn. Uh, they're waiting for a surprise. And they will find out that they lived like a coward. And he will tell them that they have no life. And he will tell his sheep, you have eternal life. And then the next one is Beyonce's um, If if you let him take us from you it's about the rapture it's about the fact that the world we're, go, we're about to go home and the reason why that the, the, like the rapture even happens is because the world will have caused christ to take us home and so if at all you let jesus take us home i guess we will finally see that you never wanted the truth of god yeah so it's all my sentiment being shared here and i'm starting to feel better i told you it works okay it goes a little something like this da, 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 da. he's always training and work 
talking through me and let's start again he's always training and working through me and you act like you don't even care as a matter of fact i've been so hopeless lately since you act like christ isn't there he says that you don't deserve these pearls from me I'm starting to think that he's right Humanity, if you let Christ take us from you I guess I'll finally see If we get dissed till he comes through You never wanted seed you led this to happen and thus proved Nacro Road is sorely true Cause he will have took us from you Cause you will have made sure we lose Why is it that when we go out Out to evangelize the good news you try to grill us with falsehood and slander Making sure no one's interested in truth We pay more attention to your soul than you strangely Then tempt us so dissension so cruel Humanity I guess we'll finally see if we get dissed till he comes through You never want a seed Let this to happen and thus proved Narrow road is sorely true Cause he will have took us from you Cause you will have made sure we lose World when we try to show God's affection to you you reject grace, then set up idols that bruise you Ghosts leaving you starving, hell-bound and fooled While calling God full of rules Whoa! Sorry I guess it finally sealed Who you never were redeemed Okay, we're not there yet there. Since Christ finally took us from you I guess it finally sealed Since God finally snatched us from fools You never were redeemed You let this happen and it proved Your conversion was a ruse But you've tried, but you tried to, uh, But you try to show your, uh, oh goodness Your confusion was a ruse But we try to show your deceived humanity But to us you still stayed so rude To us you still stayed so rude I guess it finally sealed Who you never were redeemed No, 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 no Compromise made you so immoral Humanity So Jesus went and took us from you You never were redeemed No, no, in his blood you weren't sealed You watched us go you risked your soul So Christ snatched all his saints from you Went to heaven and now will rule Okay, that's that song Choked up a little bit, anyway The next one is Niles Barkley's Crazy Um, I rewrote this to speak about how it is that people Oh goodness, I'm so cold well, they've called me crazy initially, uh, but then they're gonna turn up in the end to be the ones that God clearly made crazy And I'm gonna be vindicated. I believe I'm already vindicated. But anyway, that's another story for another day uh, It goes like this dun, 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 dun. I remember when I remember when they said that I lost my mind that I'm nothing a peasant that lived in haste Even my emotions had an echo with a erased mm -mm 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 -mm. Then they left me bare without care Even stayed out of touch But it wasn't because he was not enough He just knew too much So they called me crazy Oh, they called me crazy These fools called me crazy Hopelessly mm. And I hope that they would see He's the only way to life To think twice mm. 
about Satan of lies. Mm -mm -mm. Come on now, who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? Ha ha ha, curse their souls. You really think God's in control? Well, then he made them crazy. Yes, he made them crazy, confused and crazy, instead of me. Mm -hmm. And in the next part, my hero had a heart to lose his life so I could live. And now I'll remember, while sinking, I want to be like him. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was little. Ever since I was little did he like my son And it's no coincidence I've come To preach his light when I'm shunned mm. But they called me crazy Because they were hasty Until they got crazy Helplessly The next one is JPX featuring Julia Michaels, If the World Was Ending. Okay. It's about the end and um, how it is that people are going to be towards the end. Just very distracted, nonchalant and carefree and thinking that we're the ones that are in trouble as Christians. But then they're going to realize that they rather are the ones that are in trouble. Okay. Let's just get straight into it. I don't know why that just glitched over there. But yeah, whatever. Let's get straight into it. They're so distracted. And it's tragic, a shrugging off even when these earthquakes flatten. Don't believe that they are sinking. Instead, they're out drinking, sitting in their living rooms, chilling, watching television. It's been eight years now, been delivered to drown, letting me die slow with no communicated way out. I know through groans he knows fools weren't crowned from forever and it's time they know you know we grown feel we're meant for eternal life with Christ now that the world is ending they embolden spite even bolder to decay your plight cold they starve us for the hell of it all our tears to them irrelevant now that the world is ending how the earth they blight the sky is falling hurdling your contrite they don't even have a reason why they insist we get left traumatized now that the world is ending there's no faith in sight for Christ and now that the world is ending, they just scorn your plight. Defiant. We show them the passion, your reaction. Death on the cross and then the earthquake happened right when Adam started sinning. That night we went sinking, wrestled against your house and lost our place among the living. It's been 2,000 years now, they think they figured out how. How to sin against you without it ripping their souls out. But you know through groans they know they'll fall down spent forever without Christ. I know you know we know we weren't meant for this level of defiance. Now that the world is ending they embolden spite. Even bolder to decay your plight. Cold they starve us for the hell of it. All our fears to them irrelevant. Now that the world is ending, how the earth they blight. The sky is falling, hurdling your contrite. They don't even have a reason why. They insist we get left traumatized. Now that the world is ending, there's no faith in Christ. It's all over, Christ. Please come over, please come over, please come reap your bride. Hmm. It's please come shed your light. 
I know through groans he knows fools weren't crowned from forever and it's time. They know, you know, we groan, feel we're meant for eternal life with Christ. Mm -mm. Now that the world is ending, magnify our fight. Make us bolder that they'd see the light. Would you show them that hell does exist? Make them fear all your magnificence. Now that the world is ending, make them all keep quiet. See how appalling is their bold disguise. Show they'll soon find out the reason why. All their evil had to multiply. It's cause the world was ending. And they stayed corrupt, handed over, made them hopeless so you'd reap your bride. Mm -hmm. Now that the world has ended, have you chosen Christ? I'm tired now. The next one is, Home is Hometown Glory by Adele. This is a lament against South Africa. Again, how it is that they persecuted the living daylights out of me and left me for dead. At the mercy of disgusting men. Okay. Tim, Tim, Tim. No, no, Tim, Tim. Tim. Okay. I've been broken in the worst way. And as I bleed, they're hissing from the cracks in the pavement and cutting my heel and stranding my feet. Is there anything I can do for cruel fear? Is there anyone I could call? No, we'll trash you, please don't come. We ain't lost, just wondering. It's about my hometown, where memories are regrets. Around my hometown, ooh, the people that bled are the wonders of his word, are the brothers of my Lord. Are the martyrs of his blood Are the ones with the crown I lit him in the city when The air grew too thick and opaque I lit him right when everybody In voters broke in chains Okay, I'm gonna start again there. I lit him in the city when the air grew too thick, so opaque. I lit him right when everybody invoked her, broke in chains. I lit him in the city where two worlds collided To get the evil of the government Everybody embracing Jesus Christ But they shoved me in the darkness They spit against me They were united Showed that they wanted the deep pit Showed that they wanted me desperate Against me they were united Round my hometown Prophets are slaying Round my hometown Ooh, God's people aren't spared, no Hmm yeah burn the wonders of my burn the wonders of his word burn the brothers of my lord making my hearters of his body they're the wonders of my lord of my lord yay of my lord of my lord yay okay that was hometown glory the next one is about the hellfire that people are about to experience they're going there 
it's inevitable okay no actually that's that's not yet around this one is hey guys my laments about these married men yes like it yo like anyway this song is about um basically a married man like my ex-boyfriend that's still trying to come into my life okay it's adele's someone like you okay i'm lamenting about their their filthy licentious insistence on taking me anyway because like they don't care like my conviction spiritually just don't care anyway whatever dun, 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 dun. Ah, that you're a settled down that you found a girl and you're married now but how senseless are your dreams oh fool want to stain my face in adultery Ooh. old flame why are you so blind i've been unscrewed from old ways and now now i live with christ yet you still turn up yet you still turn up out of the blue uninvited but i am now truly saved through christ i fight it i'd hoped you'd see his face and that you'd be rewarded by the seed that you'd be sobered but and never will i find someone like you he says i breathe nothing but your air your food don't forget me i beg for you i will get saved reckless it lasts this love but temptless you hurt the dead hopeless i'm lost in love but tameless you hurt her saved yeah you know how in a time your cries holy a destiny will demise all their lies if you get born again in a sacred place will he bind all your crimes with his blood in their place but instead you crawl up hostile and rude being rejected by a consecrated woman you're reviling since you hope to see her placed in that abomination you call love your marriage over you say and never will i find someone like you i breathe nothing but your air your food don't reject me embrace i will show you great things sometimes i long for christ ish yes like it but sometimes i choose your face torn i can't lose the prize of a woman whose virtue dwells yeah nothing compares no earth a girl can fear regret the mistake of marrying in haste who would have known how bitterly this truth would taste and never will i find someone like you i wished nothing but your death is so cruel your reject your rejection your rejection mold greed i i forgot how this goes i remember with love ensnared that tough times need god need love and being this makes my pain worse that tough times can make men starve and jesus feeds instead now now all that i do is break women like you who did nothing but pray and pray for fools my neglect of their needs inspired by nothing but greed now rhymes with loss and lust and sometimes with deep regret now rhymes with loss and lust cuz their king took my rest yeah hey, hey. okay i'm tired uh that was that now the next song is jealous by labyrinth and that's a song where i'm lamenting against again ish yo like just a, a whole bunch of people who claim to be christian but they're lukewarm and so they persecute real christians uh and they can't stand the fact that god keeps calling them but they don't want to do what is right because they're hedonistic etc whatever it's about a song 
sorry it is about the hatred by lukewarm christians of true christians they are jealous of us they they treat us the way that cain treated abel they are murderous okay anyway let's just get straight into it i'm tired they're jealous of my pain they crawl upon my skin Ish, i'm tired as well i'm not getting relieved i'm hurt y'all like i'm in a lot of pain okay let's just get into it again they're jealous of my pain they crawl upon my skin i'm closer than their hands have been my zealous faith has slain they're jealous of the wind that ripped apart my foes that made them live in shadows oh they're hopeless in your wind cause they wished me the worst off all this world could give and i told you when they left me implored me to forgive that you always fought my combats hell meets all you're found with breakthrough and victory depart from me you'll say they're jealous of the way your mercy surrounds me they're jealous so they fight when i don't walk from you they're wandering since you give rest to oh but they're zealous for their spite they're jealous of your love love that calls to fear but gone their own souls they won't spare oh they're zealous more to starve so they wish me the worst off all this world could give since i chose you then they cursed me i'm tired expecting me to live again in sin to come back mud stained or face a life in heartbreak and misery my part is there for prey my jealous lord will slay those happy to foul me they will sink in his hand watch them slip from their plans oh as i die in him another day the cross i bear will hide me in his foul fish through the best of all the lord has given and i'll hold him since he loved me there's nothing this world can give for the lord must have a comeback hard fought plan through fire for breakthrough and victory my part is there for prey my jealous lord will slay those happy to ground me he my part is there for prey the lord will not delay he's happy he found me oh goodness i'm at the last song now i'm so drained i am so exhausted even my voice is cracking up like ugh, whatever man the next song is rolling in the deep adele it's a hell song it's a hell song it's about people that are going to hell and what they're gonna say for all of eternity what they're gonna be singing what they're gonna be oozing reverberate whatever the, what their sentiment is going to be in that place where the worm dieth not and the smoke of their torment rises up forever okay it goes like this all right da, 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 da. i'm cold and there's a fire the fallen set apart reaching no heaven cursed are their prayers while in the dark start again there's a i'm so tired there's a fire the fallen set apart reaching no heaven ditched are their prayers while in the dark finally they now see you crystal clear when head and sold out to the devil that laid them bare see how i'll leave with every piece of earth 
With that they did underestimate just what you'd do And now that fire is burning all their past Preaching with fever place them deeper into the dark The scars of your love remind them hopeless They keep on thinking that we almost had it all The scars that your love had left you breathless They can't help reeling We could have had it all Rolling in this deep pit We turned our hearts to stone We rebelled and he played us into heat sadly a love a story to them told but they held none in truth and were handed a head to burn think now of gospel seed in the depths of their despair how they made a home down where no torments will be spared the scars of being blind remind them helpless they keep on thinking that they thought they were not fallen the stars that condemn now with them helpless now with them restless they can't help weeping we could have had it all facing no release our flesh is burnt to bone with no death how we played with our peace we could have had it all Morning in the deep He gave his life to free from this end But we stayed so deceived Through their souls bred from eagles that did soar Whoa. Countless blessings to help find the narrow door Whoa. Told their sorrow would be treasured gold Whoa, but shot dead your eagles and now they've reaped just what they sowed <sighs> Now they wish they never served him Tears will always fall a burning in the deep They wish they never served him a Tears will always fall a burning in the deep In the middle of that this we could have had it all Eternally we're scorned We're torn, we burn, no call we should have seen the fall of Satan from his feet That since then he would turn humanity from God's worship from being free We should have heeded calls worshiped at God's feet Turn heart and hearts to flesh, let him save us now we're severed, dismembered, resembling nothing but demon seed. I'm done. Well, that was the last song. I am under so much attack, it's not even funny. I feel slightly better, but not enough. I've done my part. I will it's just may the Lord rescue me from all this. Okay, yeah. Demonic abuse. Look, you know what guys? <laughs> Keep your little Jack the Rippers, okay, South Africa. Your little Moses de Toles, your little Ted Bundys, men who rape and kill women. Like, you kiss their behinds, you help them along. That's all they are. They're Jack the Ripper, Ted Bundy, Moses de Tolle. They are rapists who kill women and you stand with them. You support men who are trying to rape women with Corobella. And when they fail, they kill them. I'm being murdered by men that because I don't want anything to do with them are killing me. If this ends up taking my life, you will deserve the country you have built. This gender-based violence cesspool that is being supported even by women. You will deserve it. All of you women that keep getting knocked out one by one, dropping like dominoes at the hands of these men. When you breathe your last and your soul leaves your body and you go to hell, you deserve it. Because understand, I will not be the first victim and neither will I be the last. The only difference with me is that I was not in their physical premises. I was not with them physically for them to butcher me until I was dead. They just will have cast so many death spells on me that I finally died. So if I end up dead, 
You will deserve the next girl that goes in the crowd. You will have begged for her to be a status quo, a statistic. All these random, deadbeat, ugly, menacing nuisances of gangster men that you are respecting, that are raping and killing women. And if they don't get what they want, no matter how high and low, they work on spells. They then kill them. You who keep on standing with them, standing back, literally leaving Abafazi at the mercy of the clutch of beasts. You will deserve every last woman thereafter that passes away because here's the deal, right? Now you don't care for me, you don't like me very much because I'm a Christian. I feel like the Hebrew women, the Jewish girls that were taken by Hamas. That's what I am. Because I am Christian. Because I'm a child of God. And he's by Skelemsam. You don't care. The world hates disciples. Do you understand? So my rape is apparently a necessary evil. It doesn't matter that I've been kidnapped by Hamas. It doesn't matter because I'm a Jew. That's basically what you're, you're doing right now. But instead of it being Hamas, it's all these licentious freaks in the occult that I've been lamenting about for days on end. And women, you are standing back hoping that one day I will capitulate to them. There's a testimony of a girl that got set free out of Hamas hostage captivity. She was sexually abused. And this licentious, nefarious, beastly freak at some point said to her, I can't let you go because I'm in love with you. He said to her, I can't let you go because I'm in love with you. Do you know what chills down your spine? It sends as a woman. When your hostage taker and repeated rapist says to you, I can't let you go because I love you. Lomundu loves you, but you don't care for him. You are scared of him. He is a monster. He is a predator and your abuser and will likely finish you off by killing you because he is possessive over you. And when he says in this hostage deal that we're doing with your country, you are not going to be among those that are set free because I want to keep you for myself. That is such a lifetime of despair that sinks in the soul of a woman that imagines herself at the mercy of being repeatedly raped by a man she hates because he is in love with her. That is what these predators are like. She finally got set free. She was rescued. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? To tell that horrific story where it is that she sunk into despair, imagining spending the next couple of years just being repeatedly raped, maybe even impregnated by a man that decided that I want you. And so you're not going back to your people. I'm not letting you go. Out of all the hostage deals that we do, with your country you i'm holding on to i will let go of that guy and that guy but you i'm holding on to because i love you some terrorist of a freak with fangs dripping blood like a vampire a murderous psychopath Okulang, or it's Sila, that is insisting on keeping you because he loves you there are women in my country that is south africa that are helping men like those get whatever they want they walk into a toy store and they just take whatever barbie that is on the shelf and women are letting them walk out without paying. They are letting them walk out without having earned their keep. These rapists live among you. And they use occult magic to take whatever they want. And when a woman doesn't want them, they kill them. And this is the awareness that I am creating right now. I'm letting you know, Basadi Hore, you are disgusting. Your jealousy is the reason why the gender-based violence epidemic in South Africa is where it is at. Many of these women that have passed away, a lot of them would not have died. If you did not have a gut feeling, if you do, if you are not aware of the heinous rap sheet of some freak that was asking your girl out. Uyaz Utilenja is in the business of beating women. You know, his two ex-girlfriends ended up in hospital. They are tall tales. I know of a woman who contracted HIV, having been hooked up by a guy that was HIV positive by her friend. And the friend knew that he was spreading the disease. This chick knew that this guy was spreading AIDS. She knew and she hooked this guy up with this woman. In order to set that woman up for failure and now today she's HIV positive. That's what women in this country are doing. So properly, like li literally, next time, ban tlobara to death. Next time they chop up your body into multiple pieces, put it in a duffel bag and then leave it on the corner of a street to be found by a, a, a jogger. Ninga ka Jandin. Don't cry. Don't trend on Twitter. Hashtag am I next. Do not say hashtag men are trash. Because these men are like this by, by positive reinforcement. Labatusa. You throw women to the hands of these licentious, disgusting men. Men that are doing rituals on women. Abafai, men whose, like I said, their rap sheets are comprehended in the community. Everybody knows what a whack guy this is, except the woman that ends up dating him. The woman that gives him a chance. Wonkomuntu knows the tall tales of this freak, except the woman that you are all setting up for failure. That is how deep, green, and disgusting your jealousy is. You will literally throw women under the bus to be married off to Amadota that are going to hold them however to there was a woman that contacted me in the direct messaging not direct messaging sorry but on my blog she wrote in my form and i responded to her she was asking for prayers 
And her story went something like this. My husband is involved in black magic. And I don't know what to do. I am severely miserable. I'm depressed. And my children are worried about me. Because they don't know what's going to happen to me. They don't know. That because I'm always so depressed. And it's not an option for me to go. I can't go anywhere. Because I am entirely 100% dependent on him. Why does this woman have nowhere to go? Where's her friends? Where's her family? Where's her mom? Her grandmother? Why can't she move back into her mom's house with her kids? Why can't she leave this guy? It's because women are like Ike Turner's mom. Not Ike Turner, King Tina Turner's mom. When the daughter runs back to mom, when a man is beating her up, she's like, I, this is my house. There's not enough space over here. Go back to your husband, make it work. I'm your big as hell. They go and they tell this woman to go back to an abusive man. And when this woman is dead, they cry, heavy tears, bucket loads. Mothers refusing daughters to come back home. When a man is out here beating her to a pulp, they end up dead because the parents wouldn't let them in back in. Auntie, I guess again. Best friend, girl, how long are you going to stay here? This woman doesn't have a job. Why? Why? Why doesn't she have a job? This woman that doesn't have a job. You know what my advice was to her? Yeah, sure, I'll pray for you. But I also gave her so much other advice to try and find financial independence so she can get herself out of there. Voodoo. Do you understand? Or a huge black magic ancestral or whatever it is that Lizzie and Lizzie do. Yeah, hostage taking situation. Any a hard knock. Do you understand? And she can't even go to any single woman in this country that's got a half half women and men. She grew up with women. She grew up with girls. She grew up with a family. And yet, under such a severely abusive husband, she cannot find at least a reprieve, the loosening of her bra strap. She can't. Because this is the person that's feeding her. Unless she's prepared to go and live in a homeless shelter. Unless she is prepared to live on the street as a hobo. She has to stay with a man, Obolil, and a manja for the sake of the children. She sticks around. Toto, that's a mom that one day is going to grab a gun and commit suicide. The kids are worried for good reason. Because that's the kind of woman who's going to ask Because she's going to ask her. She is with a man that is holding her hostage with witchcraft and he doesn't care that she knows. That's the thing. That woman, her husband, she knew her husband was involved in black magic. The husband knew that she knew, but he didn't care. Because for him, it was about making out of you a puppet on a string. Manja, when you are that licentious freak, when you are that ghostly, megalomaniacal freak that is controlling a woman with spirits, with money. Of course, of course, this deadbeat, ugly, menacing peasant is going to then invest in making sure that no matter what she does, she can't get a job. He's going to block her financial prospects. He is going to make sure that even if she tries to do a side hustle, business nyana, something, online selling t-shirts, whatever, that goes over strangely frozen. It's going to be, yeah, so he's the only one, only one feeding you like through an intravenous straw that has been cut into your gut because you're on life support. They ensure that women are on life support with spirits. And that's what's going on with me on my YouTube channel. That's, that's why I can't monetize. That's why I'm so frozen. These men bang funa high and low. There's a lot of them. And they keep on going to the drawing board, freezing my YouTube channel. Making sure I get fed intravenously through a tube on life support. The life support of which will be them. But I'm going to to them. They want me to go to them. To run to the Zinja as it's Syrian. I'm hostage by some rapist that's going to be saying to me, Uzoya Hue. And with the kind of family that I got, I'm not going to have an option. I'm going to go back home. This is the devil that I know, do you understand? Better the devil you know than the one that you don't know. This here is a devil that I know. This is a devil I know. So I'd rather chill with a sister that doesn't care about me. Because at least on that day I'm not being raped every day by some freak that got me into the relationship with Korobel. Every three months he's busy doing something. He keeps on going back to a cemetery. Go bury something that resembles me. It's like, he's still trying. Baby, baby, this baby. I'm trying to grow a YouTube channel. I only have five. Are you freaking serious? I only have five views. I've got like... Over 1,000 subscribers on all of my channels and yet I'm struggling to get my watch hours. Because Lenja is sitting on my chest. And he's like, I'm sorry, babe. And then when I dream about him, I need to go and see a shrink gaslighting me. The kind of man so narcissistic that he would get a woman incarcerated in a psychiatric hospital for accusing him of something that he did do. And the whole world would believe him. I see these things coming from a mile away. And that woman that wrote me in, I, I remember even saying, what you're going through is the worst fear of my person. But the, the best advice I can give you, instead of me praying for you, try, just as I am trying, to set yourself free financially. Try and lose yourself. And you must do it discreetly so that he does not feel an incentive to go and grab a gun and kill you because you're walking out. 
on the day when you finally let him know Uguting Hambile, he must just come back home and find your bags packed. Don't even tell him. In daughter that is practicing witchcraft gangako, he's not gonna let you go. Ultra fella go drive away with your blood, a pool of it, like your Chris honey, around your body as you are driving out. That's what's gonna happen. So you literally tell him, Sit all look far, not even give him your address. The divorce proceedings, you will do them through intermediaries. Is that basic? Because God would not insist that a woman stay with a man like that. Masa manje, in daughter, it tagata everything we and I. And I suka, murder is, is, is not a uh, gingy, uh, something that is too far gone, a prospect. You must understand, he will kill you. A man like that is not going to let you go. He's just going to finish you off. So, like yeah, like I said, I gave that woman that kind of advice. On some try and secretly, like, I gave her so many links. I gave her so many um, websites to go to. I gave her so many YouTube channels to listen to. Where it is that you can find online ways of making money. And I told her about my own story. Look at me. My Look, my YouTube channel is frozen. I don't even know what in the world is going on. However, I am teetering. I'm, I'm crawling out. But nonetheless, I am crawling. I am crawling out. But crawling, I am crawling. If I maintain this for a, a certain amount of time, at some point, Les Ninja, no matter how much witchcraft they cast, they won't be able to block in Dabiguti. I will eventually monetize. The only thing, Ekelelang, is God, why aren't you just hastening my recovery? Why aren't you hastening my recovery? Because I'm yours. I'm your disciple. I guess for the purpose of getting me to tell the story, getting me to explain just how hard knock the incarceration of women by these kinds of men are. And some of them understand, but chat dealer, listen, just chat dealer, they're married. They've got wives, but they feel entitled to mistresses the moment they learn witchcraft. They make it a determination, do you understand? To get yonkin to my And when then they get strong feelings for women that are not theirs, women that ought to be other men's wives, because you are married. You've got your own freaking wife. He doesn't care. It's about how his feelings are so strong for you. And when then they, like I said, they find out about witchcraft, and then they go and they grab perfectly thriving women. And they put them in chains. Put them in chains. That woman's story. I am trying to be the survivor. That she isn't. She was so disheartened. That she didn't even respond to my email. She did. And just said. Yeah sure. I'll, I'll, I'll look into your links. But she never wrote me again. Because she. That's how trapped that woman feels. She feels as if though. Aguna muntos on keep. Out of that situation. And if at all the type of. If my prayers are. Look at my situation. What am I going to do for her? If I'm in this situation myself, what are my prayers going to do for her? It's about trying to do everything in your own power to get yourself out of there. The Lord is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I've been lamenting, I've been crying, I've been moaning, I've been groaning, I've been like, God, why don't you set me free from the chats? Set me Set me free. And about to talk about side. Look at how they're chilling on my chest and they're being helped along by women. Help me. Let me get out. But perhaps the Lord, perhaps, just perhaps maybe, the thing here that's going on is that he wants me to show you just how serious the situation is. Just how literally impossible it becomes for a woman that does not know God to escape the clutch of a man like that. If you don't know Jesus, I also poom. How close? That woman also is going to get out of that marriage. Or if that man decides to If that man decides that he's going to be the one to burp her and move on. I'm last, okay? Then maybe she might be set free. But before then, he will latch onto a gadikar. A man that's going to hold you hostage like a puppet on a string. A control freak that's going to put a, a slice your brain with a bullet, with metal, with steel, with lead. Because you decided that enough is enough. Because you woke up one day and realized you don't love him. Next thing he's out just slicing into your brain with a bullet. That's what's going on in this country. These occult obsessed men that then feel entitled because they're demon possessed. They end up then feeling entitled to holding on to you. And sometimes they've got wives and you're the innocent woman working in the same office building as them. They will rip the carpet from underneath your feet. They will impoverish you. They will take away your whole career. So they can be the one who care. They will do that. And that's what they're doing to me. They are frozen. Yes, you guys. There have been spells cast on even my donations. People who support me. Who rekiskabale anything to a point where me hamba And allow myself to be a marionette on a string. Under some controlling psychopath freak of a rapist that is in love with me. I feel like a hostage, just like those women captured by Hamas. Repeatedly sexually abused by a man that says, I love you, so I can't let you go. And so you know that your country that is negotiating to get you set free is highly unlikely going to have you be among the first hostages released. Because some dude has decided to fall in love with a woman that wants nothing to do with him. I don't even know how men can do that. I don't know how men can take in their stride. Men who are happy if a woman settles with them. My ex-boyfriend was like that. He knew Uguti, my heart was wandering. And yet he was content to him like settle and I, just to settle, settling with him. He knew that my heart every so often wandered. 
He knew that I had one foot out the door. How in the world are you content with Umfazi? Whose heart is not that? And then that's why he held me hostage. Holding me hostage in a relationship. Keeping me with him. For years, I stayed where I was supposed to live. The only thing that set me free was getting born again in the Lord Jesus Christ. He knew I was half-hearted with him. At some point, I was like, You are not in my league. And he was like, It doesn't matter that you don't want me because I want you. I don't know why, how men can take that in their stride. How men are okay with women that don't love them. I can say maybe it's because they want respect while we need love. Where with women, it's hard to be. You can't be with somebody that, that does not love you back. It's, it's, it hurts too much. But men, they're okay to be with umfazi uh, ongamfun. And insofar as Ndefela, utulile and is respectful. So these guys are prepared to have me Ndefela just walk around in their houses. Baking cookies. Severely depressed, unhappy. However, being bought everything that I need. I'm like a whole freaking academic. And these freaks want me to be a stay-at-home pregnant lady. While I was at some point I'm like happy to do that. If it was my own choice. I am definitely not going to be made a Stepford wife. I will not be made a housewife. If I become a housewife, understand it must be my choice. I don't want to be made one. And these freaks bang for and I'm like, back my cake. Get back with this much post-traumatic stress. I'm gonna be baking cookies. All of my skills of cooking, my culinary cooking skills, and my pastry cooking skills are out the window on the day Mina. I am in some dingy, shrouded with darkness house. Eh nen daughter, eh to be like Satan for 24 hours a day. Freaking hostage taking me. Nightly, the thing that he's handling. A handler, kabang, mean. A handler. And he's my husband. Cringing every time he walks into the room. Like my family members, they are. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan anymore. They've been persecuting me for years. So I don't like being in the same room as them. I prefer to go in the kitchen, I prefer to go in the bathroom, and when people walk into the bathroom while I am showering or whatever, I can't stand it. I can't stand their presence because they've hurt me. They've hurt me severely. So I'm very, I'm irritable all day. I'm agitated because I feel claustrophobic. I feel crowded by all of their company. That's what when a person Osamo Batling Fandi One feels like when you live with them. You will be avoidant, do you understand? So every morning when I, every time when I wake up and Abako, both their cars are gone, I feel a sense of relief. Like I, I, I'm alone. It's like I'm walking on sunshine. I'm I'm hopping daintily around. And then when their cars park like you know, when I can hear their cars parking, I, I my spirit flops on some oh I've lost that independence. That's what happens when you live in an environment with someone or some matling. Well when you when you don't like people anymore. When you when you when you're not feeling them anymore. Whenever the cars pull up in the driveway, you cringe. So manje masing chole me masing chatile mina insha. That makes me cringe. And what's worse is that unlike my family members, I'm glad inabo. I don't sleep with them in the same bed, and I I'm separated from them. by like I live in a shack at the back of my mom's house. That's what's good. So I stay in here for the better majority of the day. I don't have to see them constantly. When I do, my spirit gets shifted out of whack. I'm unhappy to be in their space. That's what's good. That's what's good. So if I like I'm in and out. That's what I'm like in the house. I spend most of my time in here because here there is peace even though it's a tranquil little quaint tiny environment that frankly is too small for a woman of my girth. But it is the only privacy I have. But if you love someone, you want to spend time with them, you want to cuddle with them, you want to be rice, you want to spoon with them in bed, you want to watch television cuddled up in their arms. Man, just since that's what a marriage is made up of. That is uh, frankly a rapist huffing on me every single night. I'm bored. What am I going to do with that? I, what am I going to do that with that? I, I don't want to have sex for the sake of just getting it through the day for the sake of, uh, you know, ascertaining that my husband's conjugal rights are awarded. Who oh, I just got this honor, God. I don't want to just lie there like a freaking Nando's chicken waiting for him to just finish. And that's what these men are prepared to take in their stride. Type of men that are prepared to let you be a Nando's chicken just lying there. I'd say, well, I'm mad. But they don't care. Men don't care when you don't love them. It's about control. It's about control. They don't care when you are not intimate. When you are not prepared to hug them back, hold them back. When you don't uh, jump to them when they walk into the house, hugging them, kissing them, welcome home, honey. They don't care. For them, it's about control. And when you're with somebody like that, understand, you're going to cringe when his car pulls into the driveway. When he walks into the bathroom while you're showering. When he walks into the kitchen while you're cooking. His aura is going to annoy you. Because you're not in love. How old you're there. But these dudes are being andaba. It's, it's it's all they work with. I was spice kill him. In so far as Yena is gonna be the one that's gonna conquer, that's gonna get to win the woman that everybody struggles to get. I got spice kill him. It's about a competition. Some hey guys, I'm gonna tota yang yangi saman. And people are thoroughly trying to get me to end up with a man that's gonna make me cringe when he drives through. That's gonna make my turn worry about me. Cause mommy, you look like you you could commit suicide any minute now. A man on so hard knock, and I keep dreaming about him. I have a spiritual gift, and it's very prophetic. It's very poignant. 
Miso bona every last one of his spells. The thing about witchcraft is you have to keep on going back to the drawing board. It expires like a freaking insurance policy. That is witchcraft for you. It expires. So Lomondona is going to keep going back. I have a cousin that cast a new spell uh, at least every fortnight on me. Because the Tagat Babu, Buya, expire. Especially when they're dealing with Christians. So I invest, invest, invest. I'm going to how much money she has parted ways with. I've got yeah, my ex boyfriend now. Witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, why, why? Keep on going back to the drawing board. Let's zinja. Imitiabo, ia expire. So, seeing as ia expire, I'm gonna keep dreaming about it every new time. Titomolor, I am going to be living no satan in Ling. And women are throwing me to die satan. Ling tatala muning. Or did so sirning hagana ongpulai. There was a Christian testimony that I listened to some uh, years ago, maybe three years ago. A woman that married a dude that was uh, half hearted, he was not really in Christ. And she thought he was born again, but he wasn't. Involved in a cult. He tried to human sacrifice her libana. And then went on to marry another woman. I'm saying, this woman? He took a second wife while being married to this woman, but not first before trying to human sacrifice her and the children. But because she was a true Christian, she survived it. But guess what she said in the beginning? She was the envy of all the women because he was of the women in the town because he was so loving. They always start out cool like that Destiny's Child song, Bills, Bills, Bills. At first we started out real cool, and then after that it goes awry. So you start out very happy in a marriage, next thing a dude goes so nefarious, he gets so dark that you can't deal, and then one day. You are out here waking up from nightmares because the guy is out here trying to kill you. He tried to human sacrifice her. And her story was covered on some Malawian television show. She was from Malawi. Mm. That's going to sacrifice my kid so he can continue to maintain his wealth as a CEO. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be shrouded with darkness, living with Satan as a saint. I'm not going to live no Satan as a born again Christian. Plus, that has made me a housewife. I didn't choose to be a stay at home wife. I was prepared to do that at some point, guys. For a man that was a Christian, that was not shoving it down my throat, but it was my own choice. But now, in order that's going to throw you into a Stepford household. You are going to want to, even as a stay-at-home wife, back in the day when I was prepared to do it, I was always going to have a side hustle. I was always going to start, try. I was always going to be doing something on the side, like a little business that I would run, using my skills and my talents. I was always going to do that. And so I was always going to be able to make my own money, even though my husband is the main breadwinner. Manjalena, because he is so controlling. Otohana. Lord Gee gets a thousand yana, two thousand dollars extra a month. So that I can take, you know, so I can relieve him of whatever financial heaviness he might be having to carry. And as long as my ministry, my ministry, that's also another thing, my ministry. If I'm to marry something it's running Yaseboko Hagana, Leona you're told. At some point I will disappear from YouTube, you must understand. At some point, my YouTube channel will be gone. I will be silenced all of a sudden because on online trying to give women advice. Oh, wow. You're married to a psychopath, girl. There's no way you're going to keep on encouraging anybody in, in the streets. So, essentially, there's nothing out of gospel ministry. I can't focus on the So, I would age fast. Right now, I'm preserved. But I'm 39. I'm not getting any younger. So, if I were to marry that dude, I will start looking for the very quickly. I look nothing like my age. But once he comes into my life, I will look older than my age. I will look 50 at 43. I'm not doing it. I'm going to What are you going to be able to buy me? Just the fact that they have the brazen audacity to think who is going to be I guess what I'm going to be able to do. I guess what I'm going to be able to do. Because I'm not I was always financially independent. So let's enjoy the fun of the fun. We passenger seat while he's driving. I don't know how to be that comprehensively reliant on a man. I've never been that thing. Because I'm not going to that was so strong that I would lean on him completely. So manjo also about the first thing that's going to come in my life of that nature. That's going to take a woman that's used to driving herself around and insist on being the one to drive her around. The man that's going to sit with you and get an allowance in my bank account. He's going to be a salary. I don't trust you. I don't trust you with my life. I would not mind me not to have a man that is going to pay a salary if he was a godly man. I don't know Relax, but women, like I said, you are throwing women to these beasts. You are throwing women to these monsters. After they pass away, hashtag am I next? Hashtag gender-based violence. Hashtag men are trash. Shut up. Shut up. You are responsible for the gender-based violence epidemic in South Africa just as much as the men who commit these crimes are. You are just in denial about it. 
you are unprepared to confess that that's what's going on but you are killing women women as much as men are killing women mina angizoba the stepford wife of some psychotic occult freak or twele kile muzalwane o o tukang molohakana ha ke tlo bolailwa bana nna ka human sacrifice ritual ga ko papa maletso le tla letsa tsile wane as david's why david rose wife ke lo krang wana ka o nang the 3 years old a drown ile ko swimming pool ng khosing etseng nyoko i'm sorry aka ako ba ngwana ka ko latlhegelwa ke ntike a 3 year old son that's going to drown in a pool because my husband decided to go to he's going to use his son to continue to grow and grow and grow nagalla ke mo sadi i'm thinking that it was an accident kanti bari ke ene registering bana ba ka bana ba ka ko satane a ha de i'm not doing it but you women you're throwing women under the bus of these enzinjas as it tlhela ka phlunga ngaka tsenza di di ba 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 le pata ma ma bitleng me popo that represent ma phelo alona a patile ma bitleng ele le botlo le tlo batla nna hore le nna ke lo tlo la le ntse tsa e jwa tlo lang pe keep your little deadbeat qualified men south africa that's what i'm getting at i'm sending out in christ's name peace